Tyson Fury gets warned that Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder oh my God, from Tuscaloosa, Alabama is a loaded gun. <laughs> we going to talk about that in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button, also subscribe. I need everybody to throw a like on the video if you enjoy the content. This is a great indication. Throw a like on the video so others can be notified that the content is fire and this could be the content they're looking for. I cover boxing. My name is Ego. I'm your host, The Sweet Science, and everything in between. This is your one stop shop for boxing. Link in the description. Tyson Fury has been warned that Deontay the Bronze Bomber Water from Tuscaloosa, Alabama is a loaded gun who has been priming his one punch KO power, right? And I don't think he has to prime much. His, his power has always been there, but whatever. I'm just going off of this article, whatever. Tyson Fury is facing, quote, a loaded gun in Deontay Water who can destroy the British star's blockbuster plans with a single punch, says Wilder's or Fury's promoter, Aram. Top ranked boss, Bob, Terrence Crawford and Tyson. Bob Arum says that an undisputed world heavyweight title clash between Fury and Joshua is an easy fight to make in 2022. Now, I've seen recent interviews where so much has been said. This is now truly becoming sad. And you see the work I put in on my channel and you see what goes on in the world of boxing old media is down bad like real bad first of all you had espn top rank frank warren bob arum tyson fury anthony meet with me joshua eddie hearn and they were all in cahoots trying to leave wilder behind in the dust and they all were talking about this mythical undisputed fight in Saudi Arabia to the point where they told you how much each fighter was going to make in this imaginary fight that is not happening. Now, what does it say? We know Wilder won the arbitration. Now they're saying it's an easy fight to make in 22, 2022. But they just told you this fight was happening this year and they were doing graphics and telling you how much each fighter was to make. Now they're pushing it back. And the irony of it is you would think people would learn their lesson from the failure of the first scenario where Joshua got all this public, uh, highly publicized exposure in this fake fight with Fury. And then it, it they, they failed. They failed at it. They did not deliver. But Bob Arum's still talking about it. And the irony of it is this. As I continue reading this, Bob Arum is saying that Wilder can take Fury's head off and, and knock him out with one punch. So again, you would seem to believe, like you would almost believe that people would have some type of integrity or common sense. Like, hey, last time we kept looking ahead and it didn't work out. So maybe not do it again. Josh was fighting Alexander Usyk of the Ukraine. That's a gold medalist. Josh was a gold medalist. That could be a difficult fight. Joshua, a lot of people feel different, but in my opinion, from what I know, and I'm pretty good at these things. That's a fight where Joshua could lose. You know, I know a lot of people like, oh, Usyk didn't look good, which is true. He hasn't really looked great at heavyweight, but some fighters rise to the occasion, the better the competition or the more danger they're in, right? We just seen an upset with uh, Michael Coffey. I know he's just a heavyweight who was on his way up, but a, a late replacement who didn't even have a full camp just stopped him. You know what I mean? So it's heavyweight boxing, anything can happen, right? And yet and still, the powers that be, old media, they continue to push for a fight, knowing Joshua is fighting a gold medalist, disrespectful, knowing, as I keep going with this, this interview from Aram, knowing that Wilder can destroy Tyson Fury, who allegedly had the Rona. You know what I mean? So it's like, why, are they, why do they keep pushing this narrative of Joshua? In, in my honest opinion, Joshua Fury will never, ever happen under the same pretense that it was initially slated to happen for all the belts undisputed both coming off wins and you know strong performances and stuff like that never is not going to happen under that something will happen so one of the guys will get exposed or lose or the perception will change or fail a drug to mark my words so i have no idea why old media keeps throwing this 
Joshua and Fury card out there like Gambit talking about 2022 now they just told you it was gonna happen this year now it's 2022 ridiculous says a huge battle between Britain's rival champs Joshua hangs in the balance Joshua faces U6 September blah 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 Fury taking on Wilder you know and in and, and heavyweight boxing like I said it's a disgrace and it's disrespectful to undermine a Usyk gold medalist a Wilder former champion with double digit title defenses Aram Fury's US promoter told Sky Sports quote Fury is the better fighter He's proved that in the first fight, which was called a draw. He certainly proved it in the second fight. But once again, no one is mentioning that people think Fury cheated in both fights. But we'll just act oblivious because this is what old media does. However, if you're in with someone and this is what you guys got to pay. But wait, there's more. This is what you guys got to pay attention for. This is what you guys clicked on the video for. However, if you're in with someone like Wilder, you're in with someone who has a loaded gun. If he fires that gun and it connects, watch out. Now we're talking. Right? I don't think there is any heavyweight in boxing who has the one punch firepower that Wilder has. Now we're talking. So Bob Arum, who worked with Muhammad Ali, a legendary, uh, of course, boxer and heavyweight is quoted as saying quote i don't think there is a heavyweight in boxing who has the one punch firepower that wilder has right but who is the better fighter clearly tyson fury who is more skillful clearly tyson fury who has the harder punch clearly deontay boom 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 the brown bomber wilder from tuscaloosa alabama now we're hearing a different story from old media he's saying who's the better fighter clearly tyson who's more skillful clearly tyson but who is the harder puncher it says right there clearly wilder so all this cap all this cap about tyson fury being a one punch knockout artist bob aram just refuted that he just says i don't think there is a heavyweight in boxing who has the one punch firepower that Wilder has. So let me get this straight. I'm not the smartest brother in the world, but Sugar Hill at the press conference that you see on the screen, he lied and says he has now created a one punch knockout artist in Tyson Fury. That's what he said. It is on record. It is quotable. It is viewable right now on the internet. He says, that Fury is a one-punch knockout artist. I told you that that's impossible from all of my experience covering boxing, speaking to power punchers. Power is something you're born with. You don't just wake up and somebody you got with Crunk Gym or anybody gym snack or whatever and got on a supplement unless it was like some illegal supplement. There's no natural supplement or exercise routine or workout that will just make you an immense puncher if that's not your God gifted ability. None. Sugar Hill told you that Tyson Fury was a one punch knockout artist. Now, his own promoter says, I don't think there's a heavyweight in boxing, in boxing who has the one punch firepower that Wilder has. So, Ego Stradamus strikes again. I told you Fury's team was capped. They keep saying he's mysteriously a one-punch knockout artist, but now Tyson Fury's own promoter says no one in the sport of boxing, no other heavyweights has single-shot power like Wilder. But I thought Sugar Hill says Tyson Fury was allegedly a one-punch knockout artist. Wow, old media is down bad. So I told you, they don't believe what they're saying, what they're putting out in the public, right? The promoter of Fury is saying that no one has the power, single shot power of Wilder, but they're claiming Tyson Fury is a, a one punch knockout artist. And even if you don't value that, you know, that point, who did Fury? He didn't knock out Wilder in the second fight with the single shot. So how do you quantify that Fury is a one punch knockout artist 
when we've never really seen him fight anyone elite and destroy them with single shots where it's just like okay like single shot punchers that can change the whole course of events uh i would say like marcos madonna lucas matisse ruslan provotnikov triple g kovalev clearly wilder you know guys like that single shots could connect and you know it's just like it's a whole different ball game. kendall holt you know what i mean guys like that darnell boone you know what i mean so it's like where did they get this that that tyson fury is this immense puncher arthur better be if you know he's another one that comes to mind joe smith jr has that kind of crazy power right truth is starting to come out little by little i try to tell y'all he says Wilder is clearly the harder puncher, but his whole team, Tyson Fury's team, has been on this parade lying to you guys with stuff we know they don't believe, saying that Fury is a, a knockout puncher with single shots. And again, how do you quantify that since Wilder nor Tyson Fury have had a pro fight since their last fight? They last fought February 2020th and then March 2020 in the United States of America. The pandemic came out so there was an nba shutdown and as soon as the nba shutdown about the second week of march happened march 2020 everything shut down you know restaurants started closing you couldn't get your hair cut boom 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 so we went through and we're still going through a global pandemic so where did they get he's a one punch knockout artist at what point did you decide this like i mean what is he doing is he knocking people out and sparring with single shots with headgear and bigger gloves you know that doesn't sound realistic especially when you look at the status of tyson fury's face and he has black eyes and his face is all marked up and he bought more time saying he had the rona man i cannot wait for october 9th <laughs> bob aram continues if wilder if he connects then it's lights out that makes it interesting so again the the reason that we're talking about a lot of this stuff is because old media is truly down bad and we see that it was all cap you have been led astray bamboozled hoodwinked by old media when there was this fake fight with anthony joshua and tyson fury that eddie hearn while my week mate was shoving down your throats and bob aram and frank warren and tyson fury they discounted Wilder totally. And so did the fans. The British teeth, the boxing fans, old media, yada, yada, yada. They said nobody wants to see a Wilder versus Fury part three. Fury beat him up. Yeah, he beat him two times. But now the truth is coming out. People clearly want to see it because I did videos on it and they all do numbers. When I did the, the live stream, when they did the stream, when they did the first and only press conference everybody was tuned in we had a lot of people in that live so i'm just doing a follow-up video because old media they full of ish they continue to lie they say wilder has no chance and all that but you know he has a chance listen to what bob aram is saying if he connects his lights out which makes it interesting so why was old media saying that wilder had no chance and nobody wanted to see the fight but then now you got articles talking about Tyson Fury is being warned and Wilder's a loaded gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is amazing. I can't wait for October 9th. Now, see, this is the thing. People, people can say whatever they want, but time reveals all. And at the same time, people, they're going to say a whole bunch of hoot and nanny, but over time you'll see that it's fear they don't believe what they that's why fury try to run from wilder try to get out the fight and use like oh the rematch clause expired you didn't fight me in enough time and try to fight agit cabiel carlos tackham anthony joshua anyone not named wilder because they wanted to make some money in an oil country like saudi arabia and they wanted to leave wilder high and dry but luckily wilder's team is much smarter much smarter than tyson fury's team because they put whatever in the clause that there was a mediation process should they go through anything and had it not been for that then wilder would just lose his belt um people think fury cheated and he would have no recourse just like bob aram told you that wilder had no legal recourse but clearly he did because he got his wishes 
And if you listen to the press conference, he thanked his legal team. He said, oh, that was, I think that was like one of the first things he said at the press conference. He said, oh my God, I want to thank my legal team. You know what I mean? And then, like I said, now Tyson Fury looks flabby and sick, Larry Holmes style. You know, and at the end of the day, the truth is coming out more and more each day. Now they're talking about Wilder's a loaded gun and people are seeing the clips of Wilder with Malik Scott. Ush, ush. And they're saying, oh, Wilder's looking good. But these are often and don't let listen. I told you on my channel before, no new friends. We don't you wasn't with us last year. You're not with us this year. You know, what I mean, people like myself were saying this was a good fight and Wilder looks like he's coming back, you know, looking for revenge. And those people, the detractors and naysayers, they said, oh, it's nothing he could do. Nobody wants to see that. He already got whooped. Now the truth is coming out as we as Fury try to extend with the, the whole Rona excuse that a lot of people don't believe now reality is setting in. It, it kind of reminds me of Mayweather Pacquiao. When Mayweather Pacquiao was just a facade and it was just a fight that people wanted to see, then that was good because everyone was arguing. But I remember when Mayweather and Pacquiao first appeared at the Miami Heat game, right? And then videos started leaking and they were exchanging each other's numbers and stuff. And it looked like the fight was actually going to happen here. This is this is what I'm referring to with uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao. And then Floyd pulled out. He's like, take my number. Okay. And then they look like they were really working on trying to get the fight done. Then that's when the reality set in. And a lot of people shortly after that, little by little, the fight actually happened. You know, they made the fight happen after this moment. But I noticed a lot of people fell off. A lot of people just disappeared right after. Because guess what? That's old media, shapeshifters. They just wanted to be there for the arguing and the bickering. And they didn't really have strong convictions and ties to what they were saying. They didn't really believe, you know, there's a difference between believing and firmly believing what you're saying. So when it got, when the ish got real and Floyd really pulled up on Pacquiao and you knew the fight was happening because they, they announced it, then that's when ish got real and you seen people change up. And then now you're forced to give real fight predictions or ruin your credibility. And, and I think that's kind of what we're seeing with Deontay Wilder. Now people are seeing Wilder's in shape they know Fury doesn't look like he's in great shape. They know Fury looks like he's buying time and he's lying. And they know Wilder has power. So months and months that we've heard that Wilder is not ready and Wilder can never beat Fury and stuff. Little by little, as we gain traction and inch closer to the to the actual fight date, people are letting you know what they really feel. And, and that's that's the funny thing about boxing. Let me know what you guys think and how I did in this video. Use my link in the description to get TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an awesome browser extension to make money on this platform. I've been using it for years. Start off with zero subscribers. Now we're over 200,000 and counting. So subscribe to the channel. Use my link in the description. Get TubeBuddy. Support the channel in multiple ways. Like, leave me a detailed comment, and I'm out.